I'm Phil Guyman. I was a pro cyclist for 10 years. Now I'm retired, but I still train as hard as I can to set the best times on the toughest climbs I can find and go on fun adventures on my bike all over the world. This is Worst Retirement Ever. Boy, Los Angeles sure is beautiful after a rain, isn't it? Look at that. Look how the Aspens. No, I'm in Park City. I'm in Park City, Utah. Um, I'm here to visit and hang out with my longest running sponsor, uh, First Endurance. This is the founder, CEO, uh, chief nerd, Mike Fogarty. Um, we're gonna, we're up at altitude. I've been here for almost a week, so I'm not at all acclimated, but uh, it's beautiful and I feel good. And we're gonna check out this, this KOM segment that, uh, that Mike's recommended. So how long have we been working together? The first endurance. Since Bissell. Bissell. Fantastic vacuum cleaners. No longer a bike team. <laughs> um, no, I remember like that year. So before then, I'd always get colds and sniffles, and part of like I win a race, I'd be sick right after. And then I'm on I'm on Bissell. I'm taking like the first endurance high-end multivitamin. That year I just stopped getting colds. I didn't, I didn't get four colds that year. And then Bissell folded. I went to Garmin Sharp after that. And I remember just emailed you. I was like, hey, can I, can, can I keep having the vitamins? Because I think those are okay. <laughs> um, and and we've, been, we've been friends since then. So I've, I've raced this area many times. Uh, I'm going to say this is probably the first time I've seen it was the the video shoot we did for, for you the other day for First Endurance. Um, it is incredible up here. <laughs> I was just the, the, the Aspens. What are, what's the altitude? We're at 9,000 feet. Yeah, probably right around 9,000. So I, I cannot breathe. And I intentionally stopped wearing my heart rate monitor this trip. I can't. I, just, I don't want to know. So uh, I don't want the comments. My heart, like if you want to know what my heart rate is, it's 210 the whole time, uh, including now and when I'm sleeping. Look at that. All right, so the climb, it's a big cottonwood to, uh, to Guardsman Pass. Yep. The uh, sort of 14 minutes, KOM has won Yanni Brockovich. I've raced against many times. Um, any, any tips? What do you think? I would treat it like there's sections and bust it up because there's definitely parts where it's much easier. But up here, which you'll see, there's a huge effort. Okay. And it's probably 14% sustained for a mile. The thing with altitude is it doesn't hurt to go hard right away. Like your power is your power, and then you're completely out and you can't recover. Calm before the storm. Oh, this isn't this. Oh, that's the no. steep part. Yeah. Oh God. Only a mile at 9,000 feet and 14%. We're gonna to top out at, at 10,000 feet, aren't we? We're gonna go over yeah, that. right in the saddle up there. Jesus. Another, another view ruined. That's, that's the title for like my fifth book. How many times have you done this hill? 112 now. 112. <laughs> oh, man. Well, thanks for being 113. <laughs> okay, here's the top. That is a view, sir. Whoa. Holy shit. So, see that car down there? Yeah. He's coming up from Empire Grade. Yeah, so Park We're City's that away. Florida. <laughs> I don't know, but I think that says Wasatch County. It's hard to tell, there's all these stickers. Oh, I'm gonna put a cookie sticker on there. All right, drones up, uh, ready to do this thing. Let's coasting down to the start. Uh, I parked kind of halfway up. Here's me turning around at the, the bottom here. The, uh, I didn't give myself a good running start because I was afraid to, to lose the drone once you get it following you. It's kind of, I'll get more used to it. But here we go. We're starting this effort at 8,700 feet, which is hell. Um, the, uh, notice I'm doing too much power immediately. I'm already doing too much power. 
Um, and then I look down and I'm like, oh, okay, you're at altitude. Like you feel fresh, you feel good, you're motivated, you're starting an effort. And then uh, you go, no, no, 9,000 feet, you better be in the 300s. There it is. There it is. Uh, knocked it down. Um, otherwise, we're, we're, we're good to go here. The view's awesome. I love this angle. The, um, I, I never know what to talk about in these, so I thought this would be a good place to tell some Tour of Utah stories, of which I have many. I, I did that race. I might have done it like every time it was UCI. I did it five, something like that times. Um, and the last stages were kind of all around Park City. Um, so my, my, favorite, my favorite story is from somebody else being fast. I'll tell that one first. This is 2016. We are, uh, I forget how the, the race played out exactly, but I think Lachlan Morton uh, took yellow like early and then kind of kept it the first days. Like he was in a breakaway or something. Um, so he was in the lead. Uh, I was on Cannondale working for Tolansky, uh, who was on good form. He came fifth at the Vuelta like a month later, maybe less. Um, but uh, we're, we're working for, for a flying Andrew. And on the snowbird stage, which is kind of like the queen stage, mountaintop finish, uh, Andrew put time on Lachlan. Like he, he, I don't think he won the stage and there was a breakaway up the road. But, uh, but he did put time on Lockie. And, you know, if you know the Queen stage, there's one more, like, hilly stage left is the final stage here in Park City that we went, it did include this, this descent, uh, the one I'm going up, we went down. Um, that, that stage, where I'm at the start line, and as you know, like, we think we have this race locked up, and I'm at the start line, and I was just chatting with Lachlan, I was like, hey man, really nice job this week uh, with your, you know, you got the team together, they don't know how to lead a UCI race, like, that's a big deal for Jelly Belly, um, and, uh, you know, just tip of the cap, great job. And Lachlan just looked at me and was like, hey, man, I hope you brought your big boy pants because this race isn't over. Um, <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> uh, and then it turns out, you know, my race was over. Like, I got over a couple climbs and Lachlan attacked at the bottom of, uh, of Empire going into the city. And, uh, Andrew, this is your problem. Nothing I can do to help you here. And uh, we never saw Lachlan again. He took the overall... And uh, I just love that he called that shot. That made me really happy. Um, the other the other part, uh, the other Tour of Utah story, this was one of the best rides of my life, I would say, was was this stage race. It was 2014, the end of that year. Um, I was, uh, we had Utah, Colorado, and then Alberta and Beijing. And I was desperate for a contract and, uh, with, and just for voters to, A, respond to my email, but B, with it, a contract renewal. Um, so I did a, a crazy training block in Big Bear showed up at these races and, uh, and I was flying and the, um, Danielson took yellow. I believe he won snowbird. Um, no, he didn't win snowbird He I forget. He, oh, he had yellow from the first stage was a mountaintop back then. And then, uh, we got to snowbird and it was how's job. It was my job to do, like the first climbs. I was supposed to ride the front control the pace, the first climbs, and then house was going to take over. Um, and at the time, Cadell Evans was challenging Tom. He had taken time on a stage before, and we were afraid to lose the GC to Cadell. Um, and then Cadell puts himself in the breakaway on this stage, which starts up one climb and then finishes uh, at Snowbird. So we're going up Guardsman Pass, and uh, and Howes was supposed to... Well, I was I was on the front, and Howes came up, and he was like, dude, I'm, I'm having a bad day. Today's all you, which was horrifying. Um, and then I nailed it. I rode the front for like 70 miles uh, dropped Danielson off at the bottom of Stover's like the best, best riding of my life. Um, controlling a big race like that by myself, uh, did the same at Colorado, uh, for, I think Tom took second overall there, but I was like on the front half of that race. And then I was good at Alberta, um, came like sixth in the time trial there, something like that. And then I was good at, anyway, this is all in draft animals. I didn't get an email returned or a contract and I'm still, I'm like 5% better, maybe 10. Um, but, uh, but this is fun, too, what we got going on here. Over 9,000 feet. Uh, I did use the, the O2 VAM for this one from Factor. I wasn't sure. I thought the Ostro might be, might be better because the overall gradient is, uh, is kind of low. But I was, once I brought both bikes to the thing, one of them was, 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 uh, was locked up in Fogarty's truck. But uh, did that. Uh, but I went for the, the O2 because of the steep bit at the end. Uh, I thought little extra extra weight would outweigh the the cookie paint um oh yeah the other tour of utah story was um the the back side of this so you'd go up empire and then you'd coast down into park city 
And that would be the fastest speed I would go all year, every year. Uh, that would be our peak where you're going down and it's there's no air. It's so high up. There's no air resistance. Um, you're just you're just flying. And we would go into town and hit like 70 to 75 miles an hour every year. And I knew it was coming. Um, and, and part of me was just like, I should probably hit the brakes. You know, like there's no reason to go this fast. Uh, I'm, I'm probably like, no one cares if I get 35th or 41st. But the uh, but then I was like, well, there's pizza on the bus and it's still warm and everyone's going to, you know, there's going to be just cheese left and that's for children. Uh, so I don't want that. So that was so, yeah, you would just you would just write it. And it is pretty fun. Um, you know, closed roads, everyone knows what they're doing. But you but there, you are on Marzac Ave going shoulder to shoulder with dudes at 70 miles an hour uh, every year. Um, all right. So here. Uh, God, this view is incredible. This. uh this blows my mind. The like every time I got up there. Um, the uh, at this point, the next the next video I, I had. There's a lot of cool stuff happening in Park City, um, and a lot more. But I wanted to just do the KOM here. Uh, but me touring around Park City and showing you a lot more. There'll be a part two coming coming shortly. As you can see, my power is not pretty, but you know, for not anyway, not for a 15 minute effort. But uh, it's 10 percent. And we're at nine thousand feet altitude. I, I would say like six thousand feet takes takes forty watts uh, off your threshold, and maybe another forty at at nine. Like you think it's not altitude is altitude. There we go. It's finish line. I'm uh quite spent, but I did get the KOM. Yanni Brockovich second. Yeah, like ten seconds. Glad we saw the view the first time, because I've had to, I won't remember this part. I got it by 10 seconds. Thanks, Mike. Absolutely. All right. You were flying, dude. Uh.